One of the persistent questions that people have, and not just specialists, but uh, everyone wonders about, where did we come from? What are our ultimate origins? And paleoanthropologists such as myself are dedicated to the mission of filling in the story of our origins through finding of fossil evidence in remote places like Africa. That's where we go every year to do our research, and we are rewarded this time with a very important specimen that answers one aspect of this pressing question. A group that I'm working with here out of IHO in the uh, northern part of the Rift Valley of Ethiopia, a group that's searching for early fossil remains of our ancestors, uh, has recently found a very important jaw that our studies have suggested fill a very important gap in our understanding of the earliest evolution of our own genus, the genus Homo. This find is very unique because we don't have very many other hominid species at all between the time period of 3 million and 2.5 million years ago. I am the one who found this fabulous homin uh, hominin uh, fossil in the Lady Gararo uh, research area. When I saw it immediately, I knew it was a hominin and I was so excited and I was a little bit quiet. And I talked to Kay like, hey Kay, the day that uh, we were all on a ridge and uh, Chilacho was yelling, K, K. And she, she wasn't turning around to me and said, hey, K, Reed. And she turned, what? We found one. You know, so what? We found one. She knew what I, I was meant. And so I raced to the top of the hill and we, were all, we all were racing to the top of the hill and we all got goosebumps and it was very exciting. There's a picture of me, I was just like, yes! It's nice to be the founder of that specimen, uh, but it doesn't mean that's my finding. It is like, uh, I wouldn't be there without the previous works. It took us basically 13 years to find this hominid. It doesn't mean that the work that we did was wasted up until that time. But when we did find this hominid, we were pretty excited that uh, after all this time, it actually worked out, that we actually did have a good site and we expect it to produce more hominids. The fossil specimen, uh, which dates to about 2.8 million years ago, uh, is a jaw with some teeth in it. And our detailed study of the specimen shows that it is more advanced, closer to humans, than previously discovered fossils in this area that date from around three million years ago back to about three and a half million years ago. This human ancestor walked on two legs, and we don't really know exactly what it ate because we haven't done those tests yet, but it was able to move about the landscape in a way that previous hominids didn't because it was much more open and likely arid. It meant a lot to the project, not for me individually. It is to the scientific community, to the country, to everything. It just, it does, it, it means a lot to the people involved in the science, in this science. This is a little piece of the puzzle that opens the door to new types of questions and, and field investigations that we can go after to try to find additional evidence to fill in this, this poorly known time period in our ancestry.